Hello, this is JJPianoDownloads.com, and let's talk about um, muscle memory, and let's talk about everything from note to note. I know a lot of, uh, I've been getting a lot of feedback from players that want everything broken down note for note. Um, they, like, right here, that's uh, my rootless F minor, and Cordy sees that as an F minor because I, I pedaled that F. So, basically, your rootless F minor, and basically what I'm going to do is call this out note for note. So there's my rootless F minor, and then the left hand you have E flat, G, A flat, C, and then the right hand all you have is one note, is G. And basically, I pretty much voice led it. So let me play through uh, just a regular 2-5-1. Two, 2-5-1, five, one. Two, five, one. so I'm going to do this. So that's basically all it is, really simple. And so let me break that down. This is the first chord, and then basically, this is gonna be my melody. And I'm basically going to, wait a minute. <laughs> Basically, so this is the first chord I already showed you. Goes to A flat. And here's the next chord. Um, left hand, G, excuse me, D, G, A flat, C. And then I'm on the B flat. And then I go to C. And then the left hand is an E flat major seven. Oh, wait, let me, let me give you note for note. E flat, G, B flat, D. And then... Right here, it's, I have, you could do that too. You could double that E flat, but what do I have here? If I took, took away, let's analyze this. If I took away that A flat, I have a tritone. Uh, this is gonna be my rootless, rootless what? This is my alter dominant, C7, sharp nine, sharp five. You're gonna get your muscle memory together and you're gonna see a lot of those sharp five uh, sh uh, sharp nine, sharp five. So let me play that again. There's my alter dominant. So you're gonna get your muscle memory down and you're gonna learn. And so let's, let's do that again. So wait, let me do that again. Oh, <laughs> that's not right. This. So let me let me add some stuff into there. So basically, what is this? What is that? What was that? I'm playing around with the scale that I would that I would use. Um, F Dorian. So that will come, you, you basically you gotta get your, you gotta get your muscle memory down um, to be able to. So, okay. Let, let's keep going. So basically, you've learned this. You gotta practice this. And this is the only, this E flat major seven has the root in there. Um, I could do this. Uh, it, it would, uh, I don't know. Uh, well, what can I do? 
rootless G. So you, you have an option. You don't have to play the E rootless G minor. You don't have to play the E flat major seven. You can just. And then, and I, there was a Facebook, uh, not a Facebook. There was a uh, a YouTube cat that said. Give us simple versions of it first, and then try to explain better what it is that, that you're doing. So a uh, previous video, I talked about borrowing from other keys. So two, five, one, six, two, five, one. So um, we're gonna borrow from, you can either look at this as borrowing from B flat and playing seven, three, six, seven, three, six, or you can think of it as borrowing from the key of G. So basically, check this out. Now let's borrow from B flat 736. So what did I do there? Let, let's, break, let's break that down. So left hand G, B, C, E, and then right hand G, D. And this is my rootless A minor. And then here is another alter dominant. And this is gonna be a flat nine sharp five. So uh, let me pedal that. So let's, let's, let's analyze that. So we have the dominant seven, which is the C. We have the flat nine. We have a sharp nine, a flat nine and a sharp nine. Check that out. That, that's just amazing. So the F would be the sharp nine. The E flat would be the flat nine. And the sharp five would be the B flat right there. So, you know, rootless G minor. And this is spelled left hand F, A, B flat. D and then F and B flat and then same old alter dominant the same old uh, sharp nine uh, sharp five and then you can do two five one so let's play let's put it all together with me soloing on top of it to me soloing over it. Let's play all the changes. Now check this out. So basically rootless, A minor, alter dominant. Uh, look, this is the, the same. I think the last one was a flat flat, flat nine uh, sharp five. This is this is a uh... so check that out. Check, check that out. Rootless G minor, left hand F A B flat uh, D, right hand F B flat, and then alter dominant again. Uh, left hand E A flat B flat right hand E flat A flat C and then we'll do the two five one rootless two five one F minor get this instilled in your memory for your rootless you this is left hand E flat G A flat C right hand E flat G but basically for you theory people um, see I just call that all the notes and you know and a partridge in a pear tree but I can just say A flat major seven. It's an inversion of that. And I can play it on both both hands and it's a big full minor. And then check out this ending. F13. 
very very cool very cool uh 13 chords check that check, you can you can do that 13 chords uh not not 13 sus chord that would be a preacher chord 13 sus basically you take a d so how do i spell this out left hand f e flat right hand a d g i'm basically taking a d uh first inversion second inversion a d major triad First inversion, second inversion, taking that F sharp, moving it up a half step, playing one and seven. Instant 13 chord, not rocket science. So check this out. Now, this is really old school traditional in jazz and A. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Man, I could play variations of that. Wait a minute. Go ahead and have fun with that. Thank you very much.